Generation 1 Transformer Review, Autobot Skids. Before we get into the review of the actual action figure itself, let's take a look at Skids' tech spec. Function, theoretician. Quote, deep down we are more like than unlike humans. Skids is a daydreamer and often bumps into things at 60 miles per hour while pondering Earth life instead of Decepticon attack. He considers Earth one vast lab for his research. Skid's findings are often invaluable to fellow Autobots. He has enormous memory storage capacity. Skid's carries a liquid nitrogen rifle with a 600 foot range. His twin electron blaster of 20,000 volts can short circuit almost anything. At 560 miles per hour, he can stop within 25 feet. Skid's is not very fast and often in danger due to daydreaming. Skids is rated a 4 in strength, a 9 in intelligence, a 5 in speed, a 6 in endurance, an 8 in rank, a 7 in courage, a 7 in firepower, and a 7 in skill. This gives Skids an overall rating of 6.6. .6. Okay, now it's time for the official review of the Generation 1 Autobot Skids. Before we get into looking at the actual action figure toy himself, let's see what you get when you purchase a Generation 1 Skids. Well, as you can see, I don't have the box or the instruction booklet, and I did already apply the decals, so let's see the pieces you get when you purchase him. Comes with a lot of stuff. Comes with this great gun here. It's a big one, slides on his arm, nice chromed out. Good looking piece. And he also comes with this other gun for his other arm. Slides on his arm, double barrel, very cool intimidating weapon. And then he comes with a launcher that comes with three projectiles. They slide right in here and it shoots out. You've got to be careful you don't lose them or hit somebody in the eye or whatever. But my issue with this is you're going to see there's nowhere to put this launcher really. The guns fit on each arm, but he doesn't have a post or anything on his shoulder that you could put this launcher in, and that's a problem for me. Okay, so here he is. He's pretty good looking. I like his colors, the red, white, and blue. Um, he stands all right, but because he has these tires that go up underneath his feet, it often results in him being a little wobbly, and you kind of have to play with them to get him to stand up perfectly straight, but we'll leave him like this because it's not too bad. All right, now let's put his weapons on. So as I said, this would be great if it could go on his shoulder or something, but really all you're going to be able to do with it is put it on his arm, okay? And that's just going to defeat the purpose because then you can't put one of the other weapons on. So we're going to move this launcher out of the way, and we'll put the other guns on instead. Okay, so he has this gun that can go on either side, and we'll put it right there. Lift his arm up a little bit. And this gun here, we'll put it on this side. And he looks pretty tough with these weapons. I like it. I'll bring him in here for a close look. He looks really tough with two guns. Considering, you know, he's a lesser Autobot, I like it. Um, you may be wondering, if you're watching this, who he even is. Because he was only in two episodes of the Transformer animated series. He was in the episode Quest for Survival. Um, he's like getting repaired by Ratchet and has like one line. And he's also in the episode Triple Takeover. Both times he was voiced by two completely different people. Um, I just thought that was a funny side note. So you come up here, you look. He has a nice Autobot rub symbol there. Um, his feet... The legs don't have any real movability. I mean, you can move the feet out a little bit, but it's just going to hinder his standing. Um, you can look here. Uh, you see on the uh, right door there inside, we have Takara Company LTD 1980-1982. Uh, there's the rub, uh, Autobot rub symbol there. Blue window tint. Nice detail on the face. So he's a pretty good looking uh, transformer. 
And we'll come in here for the official close look. And you see Generation 1 skids from the front. Turn them to the side. Generation 1 skids from the side. From the back. And you see there's another Autobot symbol down there. And then from the other side. So overall, considering he was a pretty minor character, they made him a pretty good toy. So I, I, and the fact that he's kind of, you know, an obscure character, I like that about him. And it uh, makes the toy worth something to me. Okay, so now to transform him, you take off his guns. And he's going to transform into uh, a, a car-type vehicle that to me resembles, like, what you would see today as maybe a Scion XA which is kind of interesting because in the newer uh, series, he turns into a, uh, a Scion XB, which, I don't know, it's a little predictive programming there. Okay, so we're going to do some stuff here and play with him until we transform him correctly. I'm going to squeeze these legs in. and He's pretty simple to transform. If, it, if it's difficult, it's just because I'm playing around with it there we go all right so there's skids transformed that was super easy it's just putting pieces in order where they go there's no real trick to him i like that that he's easy to transform how does he roll well if i put his tires back the way they're supposed to go he rolls really well okay and that that's a huge pro he has nice rubber tires um looks cool from underneath i like this because his doors actually do open, so it makes it more fun to either play with or display. And um, you see his hands are in here, so they fit in nicely. And uh, actually, are they? do I have them maybe backward? No, I have them correct. Oh, that's because the door hole goes in there. All right. You see there's a, a, a plug there for the door and a hole in the arm, and when you want to shut it, It'll snap into place and hold, so you don't have to worry about the doors opening. Okay, so, and when he's in vehicle mode, there's a few cool things I like to point out. A, he has a sunroof right there. I like that. Autobot rub symbol there. Autobot symbol on the hood. Blue window tint. Autobot symbol on the back hood. You see he's the hatchback. So, it's kind of a neat car. I like him a lot. Uh, let's come in for the front view. His wheels do stick out, but it's cool. It gives it character. It's nothing obnoxious. From the side. From the back. And then skids from the other side. We'll come back to the front. And that's your Generation 1 skids. Alright. I hope you enjoyed my review of the Generation 1 Autobot skids. Please stay tuned so you can see my final thoughts. And here are the pros and cons that I gave to Skids. Okay, it's time for the final thoughts on the Generation 1 Skids toy. As far as pros go, I'd like to start off by saying that Skids is a very interesting and unique vehicle. He kind of looks like a Scion XA with a, like a double hatchback back. It doesn't really look like any of the old, you know, Transformer cars. So I think it, it's really cool to have him. He has those wheels in the front that stick out. It's just very unique. And I think that's a pro for Skids. I also think a pro for Skids is that he has that mysterious character appeal. He was only in, as I said, two Transformer cartoon episodes. He was in Triple Takeover and Quest for Survival, and he had very limited roles in those episodes. So having the toy makes it sort of cool because he was a very minor character, but there's still a toy that was made for him. And I also like that Skids has a very easy transformation. It's just a few simple steps from car form into robot form and back. You don't have to worry about breaking anything or extra pieces to add on or take off. Now, as far as cons go, I will say I do not like that he has a missile launcher that has nowhere to go. Uh, if you use both of his guns, you're left with a launcher that can't attach to his shoulder or anywhere else. And it's a shame because it's a nice launcher. But you hate to use it and then replace one of the guns. 
And the other problem that I have with skids is those wheels under his feet. When you transform him into robot mode, you have to fold these two wheels up under his feet and it causes him to be not so stable. And you kind of have to fool with them to get them at the right spot so that he can stand up straight properly. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this review of the Generation 1 Autobot skids. Um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel or leave me some comments, even send me a message because any kind of feedback I get from you guys makes me want to continue to make these videos because I make them for you. Thank you.